Our Garrett the Dirt Doctor here with some advice on healthy living. Peat moss has been used as a fuel for insulation, for building bricks, as a planting medium, and as an ingredient in bed preparation and potting soils. It grows in wetlands and cooler climates and is an important part of the ecosystem for cleaning water and removing pollution and storing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Peat moss is still sold and used heavily in bed preparation, potting soil, and mulch. But here are some of the pros and cons showing why I don't recommend it. Pros of peat moss, readily available, lightweight, able to hold water, excellent bulb and tuber, winter and summer storage due to its antimicrobial properties. Cons of peat moss, it blows and washes away easily, virtually devoid of nutrients, extremely acidic, difficult to re-wet when dry, repels water when dry, inhibits the growth of microbes initially, but quickly becomes conductive for the rapid development of pathogens, is antimicrobial, and doesn't help build healthy soil. Conclusion, we now have alternatives, many of them for peat moss, such as compost, that work better at lower costs and do not have the environmental consequences. Peat moss shouldn't be used except for storing material that needs protection from rotting. For all your gardening, landscaping, and pest control questions, or to join the Organic Club of America, visit dirtdoctor.com or our Facebook page for help. Go organic and enjoy your healthy gardens.